This video is sponsored by AppMaker. AppMaker is a WordPress plugin that converts WooCommerce websites to mobile apps. The mobile app builder helps you create native Android and iOS applications. Get 30% off by being first 200 sign up. Get the link in the description. Hello everyone and welcome back to new video of Educate WordPress. On this channel we talk all about WordPress and today we will be exploring unlimited elements for Elementor. So let's get started. So unlimited elements for Elementor is a plugin that helps you get unlimited add-ons or widgets which you can use in Elementor page builder. So, to begin with it, let's download and install this plugin. So, go to plugins and then on add new and type in unlimited elements. So, now click on install now. Using this plugin, today we will be adding a timeline to show your courses or how the plan will work for a educational website or any team website. After installing, click on activate. Now it will show up in your left navigation tab at the bottom. So let's go through its settings. So in it, it has widgets where you can see multiple categories. So these are all the categories and you can click on any of them and see the widgets. Some of them are uh, paid and some of them are free. So in this video today, we will be exploring only free widgets. You can buy it pro pack also to access these widgets and moving next is a background widget so here you can add background widgets also it also has some pro widgets and free widgets it's for background of the section and next is a templates so there are three type of templates available template kits digital business card and cv resume you can just install any template from here and use it on your site but all of them are pro so you have to buy its pro pack next it is general setting so in it you can customize unlimited elements you will be able to customize all the if you customize anything on this page it will be affected on its widgets also you can disable the background widgets according to your need and you can disable font options so there's general setting edit permission is set to editor or admin if you have someone else also design your page you can click on to editors and if you are the only one who designs page you can save it to admin only and you can get Instagram attached to it also or uh, widgets like Instagram box and all uh, let me show it to you so it has a separate category called Instagram widget so here you can get Instagram latest images and card metro grid and Instagram feed for that to activate you have to connect your Instagram with unlimited element and then the trouble boosting if you face any problem or run into an error you can go here and short it and next is affiliation and contact us page and upgrade option so we'll go back to widgets 
and we'll explore some of them so moving on what i want to add is a timeline timeline unlimited timeline so it will show up in infro graphic widgets you can just click on preview to see how it works so it's best if you want to show your course how the plan will work on your site this is the best option shows in a very interactive way that when the user scrolls it will connect the dots and go on and show what the other things are so these are all types of scroll and elements available so we'll go just click on install and let's see how to use it in our site I'll just create a new page. So here I will give it a name. Course structure. and teacher and click on edit with elementor save it so here we will just type in the widget that we have just downloaded unlimited timeline and drag it so this is the default template already set in it so these are all the items that you can edit in it this is the layout and this is its general setting and when you go to advanced you can edit widget HTML also. So if you know coding, you can do it. And you go to style. You can see all its settings. So here in its general setting, you can turn it off, alternating. So it will show up all in a line. And if you turn it off and shift to right to left, all of these will be shifted to this side, like this and you can change the responsive breakpoint so i'll leave it to default because it looks good and in layout you can hide the subtitle or show it and you can even move the title so it will show only the text and going on you can remove the pointer so it will not show this mark let me show it to you again so this is what we call pointer in it so it will remove it simply and you can click on show image so it will show the image attached or if you turn it off then the text will be on top of the image so let's go to items and click on all in one solutions so you can see we can edit that item so all in one solution is right here so we can type in the text or insert any media so I'll just insert a media like this and if I go to layout and click on show image and then go to item And I have to remove this, so I'll just remove. And here I'll upload the image again. 
so now you will see it here and if you want the text to be on top of it go to style and scroll to the bottom and click on image and click on this force image as background so it will make the image as a background so this is how you can edit this whole widget in it and I'll just go to section and give it some width and this much will be fine and click on publish so now we can see this in action you can even customize these icons so here in all in one section you can see the icon page so you can upload an icon so it will replace this one and you can click on show overrides you can choose its background also and moving on you can go to styles and you can choose the icon shadow or icon top offset so if i choose an icon shadow and click its color to be more visible so here i can show icon shadow also and edit its border and increase so it will give it some border so this is how you can customize its icon you can customize the pointer which is shown here you can customize the pointers also you can customize the line you can increase its width decrease its width change its color you can change active line color when you scroll the page which color will it change to so if i have done it to red what it will do the line will have red color when we scroll this is how you can edit it you can change its images images on the post you can say and title and subtitle so you can customize all you want and i also want to add some background to this section so for that we will go back to first let me publish it update and then we'll get back to our dashboard and here on our background widgets what i'll do is install a background widget so any free one i'll go with gobble click on install you can see it preview as well so now it it is installed we'll go back to our page Just click on section, go to style, and go to unlimited background. And by default, it is set to no background, so I'll set to bubble. And then I'll give it some color. Click on update. So now you can see. The background is active in this section. There are lots of widgets in unlimited timeline widgets also and in unlimited elements. So we'll go and explore one more widget which is
टी मेंबर्स सो यूजिंग दिस टी मेंबर कार्ड यू कैन डायरेक्टली एड अ कार्ड एन इंफॉर्मेटिव कार्ड अबाउट एनी टीम मेंबर और एनी कोर्स और एनी थिंग यू विश सो आई जस्ट क्लिक ऑन इंस्टॉल एंड गो बैक टू माई पेज एंड आई जस्ट क्लिक ऑन सेक्शन एंड ड्रॉप इन एन इनर सेक्शन बिलो दिस सो नाउ आई कैन एड एन माई टीम मेंबर ड्राइग इट इन दिस सेक्शन so here you can edit everything about it has an icon it has the name the position and a text and the social icon buttons and you can even download the resume of the person or you can add a button to see the portfolio site so it is a very useful one that's why i have added it here and we can even add a custom typography so all in one kind of a thing this plugin is so i'll go to typography and i'll just install a gradient text effect and i'll go back to my page refresh it whenever you download a New widget. You have to refresh the page to show up an element. I'll just go here and type in the widget gradient. So I can give it a title by just dropping it and giving it a name. so you have to paste it in different and you can leave any text blank also and click on update you can choose its position you can change the gradient angle and you can change its tag here you can choose the style and color and in advance you can choose the layout you can choose its width motion effect background responsive and custom css also so i'll just make it a bit bigger by choosing the h1 tag so here you can list out the courses and even the teacher's name who will be providing the courses and you can edit it with your ideas also thank you for watching hit the like button if you like this video and subscribe to educate wordpress